caviar. It's the food of the rich. It is so sophisticated. It's really like no other food. That taste of the ocean, of the sea. Кра это прежде всего это не еда, это не пища, это настроение. It's not just food that you put in your mouth. It's an experience. Caviar, known for being the most expensive food on earth. People are willing to pay amazing sums for it. Throughout history, caviar has been the most coveted of delicacies. It has this myth around it that adds to its value. People associate caviar with sophistication and power. Caviar has it all. On the one hand, royal families consume caviar, and on the other hand, criminal gangsters. So the upper world meets the underworld. In the past, it was actually the food of the poor. When I lived in Russia, we had caviar for breakfast because it was so plentiful. Today, it can sell for up to $35,000 a kilo. Everyone's heard of caviar. People associate caviar with luxury. It's the most expensive food on the planet. But I suspect that very few people understand where caviar actually comes from. This extraordinary food is, in fact, just the eggs of a fish. But this is no ordinary fish. This is a fish whose fate has been shaped by politics, religion, and war. Once plentiful, they are now the most endangered group of species on Earth. It's 250 million years old. It's like we are losing a dinosaur from our planet. It could withstand ice ages, and it could withstand all the changes that have happened to the world in the last 180 million years. But the one thing they couldn't withstand was industrialization. History has not been kind to this fish. It is kind of amazing that they have survived this long. Now, the battle is on to save this extraordinary prehistoric creature. This really is a race against time. If we do nothing, these species will undoubtedly become extinct. This is the incredible story of the sturgeon and one man's obsession to save it from oblivion.